In case you didn't know, the Oculus Quest 2 will require a Facebook account to use. I've seen a lot of people talking about how bad this is, but I haven't seen anyone talking about the upsides. There are many issues with this, which I'll get into later, but there are also some good things about it. I think this will overall improve the VR industry. Most people are rightfully upset that a Facebook account is required to use the Oculus Quest 2. One of the main issues people have is if your Facebook account is banned or suspended, you will lose all of your games. You can lose your account for simply having a username rather than your real name, or not having your real birth date. This is concerning because most people want to be anonymous while playing games. Right now, there is an option to hide your real name to everyone, but there's nothing stopping Facebook from changing this. Another issue is data collection. It's pretty well known that Facebook isn't the best when it comes to privacy. There is also a possibility for Facebook to create a VR monopoly. Although, with the way Facebook is handling SideQuest, I'm less worried than I was before. There are also many smaller issues which are less important to this discussion. So what's good about this? Well, for one, the Quest 2 is significantly cheaper than anything else on the market with similar specs. This means lots more people will buy it, and games will get a boost to their player counts. I think this is a direct result of the Facebook login requirements. Facebook needs to incentivize you to buy this headset, so they lowered the price. This not only means more people will get into VR now, it also means that more game devs will make more good games and more people will get into VR to play those games, and the cycle repeats. There's also the fact that other companies will see the market of people who are not willing to buy the Quest 2 because of the Facebook requirements, and those companies will pander to that market. There are also rumors that Facebook will allow Oculus-focused accounts with usernames rather than real names, but keep in mind this is only a rumor. Overall, I think that the Facebook login requirements will improve the VR industry. I'd love to hear counterpoints or questions in the comments if you have any. Subscribe if you enjoyed. I'll be uploading new videos every Thursday. I'll see you next week. 108, signing off.